Hi everyone, welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you all so very much for being here with me. Y'all are the best. Okay, y'all are the best for sure. Let's get into a reading. We're going to bring the bowl, call in spirit, and just see what comes up. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much. All right, that's quick. <laughs> Let's see what this is. We have the King of Cups and the Nine nine of wands oh my goodness okay so what right off the bat here we are um reading on somebody who is feeling very defensive okay um i have somebody here who's got a lot of love all right the king of cups is usually a masculine energy who has a ton of love to give the only thing is that it's a little bit tricky with the king of cups they tend to sit on their emotions without really speaking on them um, until they feel good, good and ready to do so. Okay. Um, this particular King of Cups has a spyglass or a telescope here. And that always reminds me of somebody who is silently watching you, not really making any moves, very grounded in their emotions, feeling very good, just like loving from afar. Okay. Um, you know, that's, that's what I get from this particular King of Cups. Okay. Somebody here is loving you from afar right? Now this person could be at a distance from you or just emotionally distant from you at this point in time, but there is a lot of love there, okay? Now for the King of Cups to be at this Nine of Wands, it's like they are hella defensive when it comes to their feelings, when it comes to the, you know, how, yeah, when it comes to their emotions. Um, they have been through quite a bit with the Knight of Wands, um, and sometimes the nine, the nine of Wands will indicate somebody who doesn't really um, it's not so easy to trust. Okay. It usually has a big wall up because of all of the, um, let's just say times that maybe they've tried or they've expressed their love and maybe it didn't turn out so great for them. Okay. Maybe they've been hurt quite a bit. Now in this particular one, I feel like they've got their back up, back against the wall here. Okay. Back against the wall. Um, defenses on high, um, very guarded when it comes to, um, communicating how it is that they feel right? But it's not all is all is not lost because we do see, look at this one. We do see here that somebody's willing to kind of like, okay, I got one last shot here. Um, and I might, I might make my shot, but I'm feeling a little bit wounded. I'm feeling a little bit, um, not at my highest, um, strength, not at my highest capacity right now. So let's just figure it out. They're feeling a little bit worn down, a little bit tired, even, um, when it comes to matters of the heart, just feeling a little bit broken down and beaten up, okay? Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy uh, with the with the King of Cups and then the Nine of Wands is uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. But here we have the Tower. The Tower, okay. Something here. Um, there's a reason why this King of Cups obviously is on high uh, defense. They've got their walls up pretty high and it's because the tower here, something has fallen, something has changed, something's come out of nowhere. Um, some type of message. Maybe, maybe you've sent this person a message. Maybe it hit them a little different. Maybe they didn't um, expect it, didn't see this message coming. Um, let's just get a little bit more details here because the page of wands is usually good news. But because of this defensive um, energy here in the tower, I don't know if I'm feeling that this is necessarily... So great. We have the Knight of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles. It's at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Swords. Okay. Yeah. You know, someone here. <laughs> okay. I, I know I shouldn't really laugh. I just, I feel like it's, um, you know, it just is what it is. The energy is a little bit funny. Um, when I saw the Queen of Swords, I thought to myself, or I heard this in my own, you know, whatever, in my mind, in my intuition, I just heard uh, a Queen of Swords say, well, what the hell did you think was going to happen? <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's why I had a chuckle. What the hell did you think was going to happen? Okay, let me explain why. Because, okay, so we, we might have this uh, King of Cups. So whoever this masculine energy is, right? Um, I feel like they may have tried to come back into your life or somebody here who, again, this could be an on and off connection, right? Um, there could have been a lot of like messages coming in uh, back and forth, going back and forth. Um, but, you know, nothing really has changed. This King of Cups wasn't able to get anywhere or you being the Queen of Swords. Mm, how do I explain this? It's like, you know how everybody says, come correct or don't come at all, right? And that is that Queen of Swords energy. Come correct, don't come at all. Because when you step to the Queen of Swords, you best have the best intentions, right? And if you don't, Queen of Swords is going gonna, is gonna to serve it to you straight. They're going to say, look, okay, um, I'm not looking for this in and out thing. I'm looking for something long-term, stable, committed, blah, 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 right? The good stuff, right? The good life. I'm not messing around. Nobody's got time for that, right? This is what I'm looking for. I'm not going to, I'm not going to settle for somebody who's non-committal, somebody who's like this knight of wands. So why am I saying all this? Why do I feel like it's love? Because, you know, I feel like whoever this King of Cups was expected to just kind of waltz back into your life and to pick up where y'all left off. And, you know, you may have served them some type of, uh, I don't even know. I feel like it was a little bit of a harsh communication or something that just set, set them straight or set it straight. Like, look, okay, you don't really care. I don't, you know, this is what I'm after. Um, it looks to me like you're just here playing games and I'm not, I'm not playing this game with you anymore. Okay. I'm not playing games. I don't have time for games. Okay. So, you know, it has this King of Cups kind of, um, backed into a corner basically. Okay. And this Queen of Swords is saying, well, what did you think was going to happen? Did you think I was just going to let you back into my life? Did you think I was just going to, you know, did you think I was just going to roll over and just do, you know, have things go your way? This is a, this is somebody who really, um, yeah, let's see. I want to, I want a little bit more details here. I want a bit, a little more details. We're going to stick that Queen of Swords because look at everything that's in between this Queen of Swords and this King of Cups. Okay. The tower. The page of wands. This is a this is communication. So somebody here has, you know, you've recently communicated with somebody who um, loves you, but they are emotionally distant. Okay. They're not invested. They're not investing, or at least they're not telling you how invested they really truly are. Okay. They're, they're showing up to you like this knight of wands. Okay. And I feel like you are just basically calling them out and not settling for anything less than what you deserve. Okay. And that's what I'm seeing here. Um, that's what I'm seeing. You know, it's like, I've got my eye on the prize. I, I'm not playing games and I can see right through you in these games. Right. Okay. So this is what's happening. So the tower, it seems like is crumbling for this King of, uh, cups, you know, they're sitting over there in their tower, loving you from afar. And here you are, you know, I love this tower because there's this mischievous, mischievous look on this witch's face. Like, yeah, I just, I just, you know, blew up her power basically. So I feel like as the queen of swords, if that is you in this reading, you're like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm just going to blow it wide open. You know, I, I've got nothing to lose here than other than to speak my truth. And, and that's what it is. Okay. No more holding back is what I'm hearing from this queen of swords energy. It's like, come out with it or don't, you know? And I feel like you're not, you're just not here to play games. Okay. So tell me more about this tower. How is it hitting this king of cups? It's definitely got them feeling like they're backed into a corner. Now they do still have another shot. Um, you know, but <laughs> I think they're thinking about things. Yeah. They have another shot. We have the Knight of Pentacles energy, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who slowly comes towards you with an offer, but you can rest assured that by time, yes, it takes forever for the Knight of Pentacles to make any sort of move, all right? Um, it really, truly does. But by time they actually get there, by the time they actually give an offer, it is something solid, okay? It is something solid. So what is this offer, please, that they're <laughs> contemplating? Okay, what is this offer? Six of Swords, moving on, moving on, leaving things in the past. Okay, hold on. I feel like, you know, they're definitely, they, the, whoever this person is knows that you've got your back turned to the situation. We have the Five of Wands coming up in the reverse. Their offer is going to try to, uh, first of all, they're going to want to talk and communicate. They're going to come to this 
space. Yeah. It's basically like they're wanting to get out of the doghouse. Okay, they're wanting to get out of the doghouse. They feel like they've been, yeah. Yeah, they want to get out of the doghouse. Okay, hold on. One more, please. Oh, all right. That one wants to come out anyway. Three of wands. At the bottom, we have the hermit. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, this person's in the doghouse <laughs> with you. They know it, okay? You know, they know that they're not really maybe your favorite person at this moment, okay? Because with the Queen of Swords, it's like this person, this King of Cups has hurt you most likely by holding back their emotions or not being forthright or even being non-committal or somebody who's playing games, okay? That's basically what I'm seeing here in a nutshell. Now, with the Five of Wands coming up in the reverse, the Six of Swords, Five of Pentacles, it's, you know, I feel like what's going to happen here is this person's going to have to sit in this energy of um, regret. They're going to have to figure out a way how to come out of this conflict with you um, to come back into your life. You know, um, this is what they want. Now, this is a slow moving process, right? Because I feel like um, they're really. OK, let me tell you something. It's, it's kind of hard for me to explain. So I'm just going to go back to the Knight of Pentacles. Remember, we were talking about how it's going to take this person a little bit of time. And they're feeling a little bit foolish because I feel like, you know, you have called them out for their bullshit. Basically, you've called them out for it. And they didn't really expect you to do that. Um, now, they're going to take some time to really think about this. Yes, they do want to move forward. Yes, they want reconciliation. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is they're going to really have to feel it. They're going to really have to feel the absence of you in their life before they can, before they'll come to this epiphany, to this aha moment of how on earth they're going to fix things with you. Okay. Because right now it seems that their motivation was to come back in and do things the way that they have perhaps in the past and you shut it down. Okay. That's what's happened here. You shut it down. You're like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just not, okay. I'm not doing that. You're not doing that. We're not doing this again. Um, not this way. Okay. Something has to change. Something has to give. Now I do see that something will change somewhere down the line in the future here, right? With the world, the ace of wands, the three of wands, there will be a new beginning. There will be another chance um, to close out an old cycle, to start something new, um, to refresh the energy, to level up, to learn lessons, to do things right, basically, uh, to do things right. There is an opportunity here, but first, before this happens, is this person, this King of Cups is really going to be, um, let's just say they're going to have to feel the absence of you in their lives. Okay. They're going to have to go at it alone. There's nothing really that you can say or do other than what you have already done. And I feel like it is the right thing for you to have cut this person out or recently perhaps cut communication with them or make them feel How do I want to state this? It's like, make them feel the lack of your presence. Like basically allow them to, to have that time and space where you are just not available to them. Um, now it's, I, I don't know what it's like. I just heard revenge is a dish best served cold. So, um, I'm not sure if anybody's out to get revenge or anything like that. I don't feel like that's why I uh, picked up those words. I feel like it's more of the cold energy, the cold energy. I feel like at one point you were very warm, open, giving, loving to this person. Um, and this is what they're going to have to miss, right? You're showing up now as being perhaps very cold, very detached, very like, I don't even give a care, like fine, whatever I'm done. I'm over it. You're showing up like that queen of swords, right? They're going to have to sit and stew and, and fester in that energy. i like missing. They're going to have to miss your warmth basically is what it is. They're going to miss your warmth, right? And I can see that happening right here, you know? And I feel like, I don't know if this person's going to just up and disappear or they're going like solo something, something where they're all off on their own to really think about it. Now, this is by choice. You know, they, they may be saying, well, fine, I don't need you anyway. And I'm going this way and you're going that way. Like, psh, whatever. You don't bother me. <laughs> That is not absolutely not the case. So they may be pretending to be very um, like nonchalant, like they don't care um, when in fact they really, truly do. And um, the, the longer you remain 
in this um, cold, silent energy. Um, it could be the kind of energy. Now, going back to that, revenge is the a dish best served cold. Now, going back to that energy, I feel like, you know, they would have perhaps at some point come off as very cold towards you. Meanwhile, they're sitting over here. They've got a lot of love for you. They just haven't told you, right? They've been very distant, perhaps showing up as cold, aloof, detached, don't really care. They do. They care, but they didn't want you to know for whatever stupid reason. They're playing games, whatever. Um, again, you you called it out. You called it off, right? So the revenge part is mostly you being like, okay, well, you're going to see how it feels. Like, oh, okay. Maybe maybe they would ignore you or maybe they didn't, um, they took you for granted or whatever the case. Now you're like, okay, this is how it feels. Okay. You experienced my warmth and now it's cut off. Now you won't get it anymore. You have no more access to my energy. So how do you like that? You know, and, and they're not going to like it. Okay. They're not going to like it. They're not going to like it at all. They're going to feel very much locked out. They're going to feel very cold. They're going to feel like they have no love in their life. You know, and it's not that you're wishing that upon them. You're just, I feel like, you know, you're going to basically sit, uh, show them what it's like to not have you in their lives, right? And it's not going to be a fun time for this person because again, they do love you. They do. And they're not going to enjoy not being, not having access to your warmth and your loving, uh, caring, nurturing, whatever, all of that. They're, they're not going to enjoy it. Okay. So, uh, with the world, again, this is, this is something, you know, they're going to be working through. They're going to be working through. Spirit's going to be working with them. Now, whether or not you decide to ever deal with this person again is totally up to you. I'm just saying that there is an opportunity for something new to, um, they're going to miss you. Basically, they're going to miss you. They're going to try again. This isn't their last go. Um, but they may go silent for some amount of time here. Okay. You may not hear from them from some amount of time and that's okay. Do your own thing. Go do you go, you know, like make yourself happy, whatever. Um, I don't feel like you're sitting around waiting for them. Um, you know, if anything, you maybe have already written this person off in a sense of like, you know what, <laughs> because I see you very much focused on building a family, building your legacy, you know, building, um, something that's, um, committed and long-term and it, maybe even just looking for a life partner, looking for your life partner and not wanting to play games with somebody who isn't taking you seriously. So I feel like you're writing this person off, but I don't feel like this is the last you're going to hear from them. Okay. Because they are sitting again, this King of Cups energy is a masculine who is actually in love right? So there's that. I mean, um, there's that. This is not the last time you're going to hear from them. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, especially with the three of wands, they're going to be looking out to the future and, and trying to find you. Okay. So even if you go hermit mode and you're like, okay, they have no way to contact me. Um, I've blocked them on socials. I've, uh, you know, deleted their number. I, you know, blocked their emails or whatever the case. Um, you, you may feel like, you know, you've cut off any type of avenue of communication for them. Um, or you've, you've decided, okay, if they, if they message me, I'm just going to leave them on red and I'm going to, you know, do what they do or whatever, right? Like I'm going to give them a taste of their own medicine, that kind of an energy. It doesn't matter. They're going to find a way around it. Okay. They're going to find a way around it. Um, I don't, you know, this person's definitely pissed you off for sure. Cause the queen of swords is an angry kind of an angry energy. I mean, she's a badass. Don't get me wrong, but, um, you know, <laughs> coming up as like, don't mess with me. Like, you know, very, very stern, right. Very stern energy. Um, but yeah, so there's a little bit of, um, resentment, you know, coming off of your camp and I'd obviously you've got your reasons, right. Obviously you've got your reasons. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean that they're necessarily, um, a, a horrible person. It's just that they need to, um, they definitely took you for granted. Okay. They definitely took you for granted. Um, I don't know if they were trying to play games on you. I don't know what they were trying to do. Um, but they're definitely going to continue watching and keeping an eye on you. And yeah, I mean, like you you haven't heard the last from them. That's all I'm going to say. You haven't heard the last from them. I don't feel like this is necessarily like a super bad person. I don't see any um, like straight up abuse. And of course, I got to say this and I hate that I have to say it over and over and over. Um, I'm never going to encourage anyone on this channel ever to stay with somebody who is emotionally, physically or any abusive at all. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just not going to, if I see, uh, some crazy abusive behavior, I will call it out. I don't see that. I do see somebody 
who was perhaps very immature, <laughs> okay, uh, and definitely somebody who took your love for granted, but that doesn't mean that they were abuse, abusive, okay, I don't, you know, whatever, right, so, um, yeah, I just want to put that out there, okay, this isn't, you know, I'm not telling anybody to stick around, I'm actually telling somebody, whoever this is, I'm telling you to move on with your life, because, you know, this person's going to figure out what it's like, they have to figure out what life is like without you and your love, um, and, and they're going to, regardless uh, if that's your intention or not, um, they're going to definitely miss you and feel the lack. Look, I cry myself to sleep. Okay. This is what's going to be happening, right? In case you were curious, I don't know. I cry myself to sleep. Okay. Um, they're going to be very, very much missing you. Okay. And very much kicking themselves for, you know, I, I feel trapped in my situation. Okay. All right, one more here. And this is from my deck that I created. Thank you to everybody who's been purchasing it. I'm really super stoked to share this uh, with you and share, just share it in general. I'm excited that I finally did this. I've been wanting to for a long time. <laughs> okay, here we go. I feel trapped in my situation. And then we have, it was always you. Yeah, this person, that's what I mean. Like this person, you're unlike anyone I've ever known before. Okay. So this person loves you. Like it was always you, you know, I cry myself. They, they do, but there's something here in their, in their life that has, um, look with the nine of wands. I'm not surprised. There's been some, some things that have been very hard, very challenging. They may have had challenge after challenge. Maybe it was work. Maybe it was family. Maybe it was past relationships. Maybe it was karmics. Who knows? Right. We didn't go that far into this reading, but I'll tell you, they felt very much trapped. They still feel trapped. Okay. And, um, you know, I feel like maybe you just gave them a lot of chances. Maybe you understood their situation. Maybe you were very empathic, right? Because, okay. Um, I get, I'm getting here because they're saying it was always you. You're unlike anyone I've ever known. Maybe you're coming off as this very warm, loving queen of cups type, you know, like a counterpart type to this uh, King of Cups, right? So somebody who's very open, loving, caring, giving all those things that we were talking about in this reading, that nurturing energy, that warmth, right? You may have offered this person a lot of warmth, time, compassion, understanding, empathy, all these things, and now you're withdrawing it or you have withdrawn it, okay? So uh, again, you may have understood, you may have tried to work around whatever situation this was, or you were patient with them, and now you've basically run out of patience. You have, you run out of patience with this person. Okay. And, um, you know, it is what it is. They're, they're going to, in order for them to truly realize how much they miss you, how much, you know, to realize these things, it was always you. You're unlike anyone I ever, you know, known in my life and all these things. I cry myself to sleep. They're going to need to feel the absence of your love in their life. Okay. Before they're going to learn and grow and integrate any of the lessons that they need to. Okay. Uh, maybe they're inexperienced. Maybe they're immature. I really don't know the specifics. This is a general reading. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just, to, just to let you know, if you thought it was over, it definitely is not give it some time and this person will be back around. Okay. You know, uh, let me see what the love Oracle has to say on uh, this connection. And then I will end the reading, maybe come back with another y'all. You wouldn't freaking believe that, um, my son is sick again. It's like every two weeks since he's been back in school and like he's on vitamins, he's on all the things. Like if y'all have any, um, immune, like boosting, uh, ideas, please help a girl out in the comments because he's home again, sick from school. And it's just, I don't know how a girl's supposed to get anything done, you know? <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. So I ap appreciate your patience as we, I don't know grow an immune system. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm sending you lots of love. Okay. New beginning. Okay. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay. So meanwhile, you are off experiencing something new. Okay. Um, now it doesn't have to be in love. Is it something new, something you're focused on? Okay. We have the ace of wands here. An exciting new beginning is coming in for you. Um, I do feel like there is an opportunity for a new beginning with this person, but first they've got some learning and growing to do. They're going to need to take their time to do that. And again, it's going to be in your best interest, in their best interest, uh, in the relationship's best interest. If you are indeed interested in, in this person coming back around, 
um, you're going to want them to have that time and space before they do miss you and they do realize all of these things that they need to realize, okay? So there is still an opportunity for a new beginning, right? But still, don't you sit around waiting. <laughs> I don't feel like you are, but we have reflection. Give each other some, oh my gosh, it's so funny we're just talking about it. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best, okay? Space is needed here. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith, okay? Follow it with faith. If this is meant for you, if this person is actually meant for you, you know they'll come back around, okay? Um, and that's just the way it is. You can't lose someone or something that is meant for you. Um, just have faith in that and continue living your merry life, <laughs> okay? Live your joy, live your bliss, do your thing, okay? Live for you, live in the moment, all of those beautiful things, okay? I am sending you lots of love. Take care and we'll speak soon.